We are better than this. We are better than this. Frustration from Milwaukee's top cop after more than a dozen people were shot in the city in the last 24 hours. Among the latest victims, a one-year-old child and a 20-year-old woman hurt in a drive-by shooting this afternoon near 44th in Congress. So what can be done to stop the violence? It's a question we've asked in our newsroom today. A group from Racine reaching out and noting that after a record year of, violence, of violent crimes in 2023, that community has recorded zero homicides so far this year. Mike Biermeister followed up with a woman leading the charge to learn about how they are making this progress. Nikita Hamer is walking on the front lines of change in Racine. I do have a calendar of services mm -hmm. and programs that take place at the house every day. The violent crime reduction coordinator oh, knows yes. the impact of gun violence firsthand. In 2017, my brother, uh, DeAnthony Keenan, was killed in Michigan, which is where I'm originally from. Um, and that was a blow that nothing could really prepare you for, you know. Now she's using that pain and turning it into her passion to help others affected by gun violence and those who haven't. You haven't been impacted, but you can still spread awareness. You can still serve um, and you can still help those who have been moved further along their journey because it's a lifelong thing. She and the Racine Police Department attribute stronger community connections as the reason for the city seeing zero homicides this year to date. It's a shared space and it's for the community. It's happening inside the community oriented policing house through events like Waffle Wednesday, which brings people together to talk about different issues. <laughs> and at Bigger Than Basketball, where officers trade their uniform to play against kids. I just believe that in this community, everybody has a role to play. They might not all be as big or as important, but the work is as important. Um, so we invite and we welcome anybody and everybody. The turnaround praised tonight by people enjoying a farmer's market downtown. Hallelujah. That's a praise. It's great news. It makes me feel good because, you know, there is a lot, I see a lot of homicides and all this stuff going on and accidents and stuff like that. So it makes me feel good to know that there haven't been no homicides here in Racine. With more events on the horizon, Nikita believes the more people come together, the less violence the city will see. Change can be made. Um, just proof and evidence of the things that can happen when community comes together. In Racine, Mike Biermeister, TMJ4 News. All right, thanks, Mike. He mentioned the Waffle Wednesdays community event. The next one is set for July 10th from 10 a.m. until noon.